Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for getting back on the journey, following me on my journey. Today we're back on the main, main road. A road that I've certainly traveled many pens on. And I did get three more Pen BBS 480s. Two in the standard box, Corduroyt, Manjusaki, Manjusaki, and Amber. And Amber is kind of Baini's pen. Amber is a cat, as we can see Amber here. And these, I did get four stickers this time, two, two with a duplicate, but hey, I'm happy. These are new ones that I don't have, so that's also nice. So yes, I have a lot of 480s, and yes, I find the design to be excellent. I think it's, uh, after time, I think it's not an improvement over the 308-266, but certainly a pen worth your time. We're going to dive in a little bit to these colors. Just a spoiler alert, there will be no writing in this video. We're just going to explore different finishes in these and why I ended up with these and maybe give you an appreciation for the amazing resins that PEMBBS uses, if you don't already. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention I also ordered another set of parts. I think this is a, one of the great buys on eBay. I mean, this is everything you need. And I recently had to take a small washer out of here to fix a, the piston on a 456 that somebody had sent me. So these come in handy and when they're available it's nice to just throw them in with the pen order they're not always available but grab one if you can three amazing resins of the many amazing resins that pen bbs uses the top one is amber is a cat and i have a number of those including a 355 which i uh, cherish quite dearly and this is that which I will not pronounce again, but it's a 99 color. Just unique, and this is quarter right at the bottom. And I've uh, taken out the converter because that will be eyedroppered in there. will be some writing later on. We'll take a look at why I will do the writing. Again, just very, very nice. And considering the market that these are in, I think these are priced extremely well. You know, a little bit less than two turns to get off, and we see another trait of the amber pens is a nice, unique engraved nib with uh, two paw prints, and amber is a cat engraved on the nib. And I think this looks like it could be the medium one, so let's uh, compare it to a medium one, and we'll see. It, it is pretty similar. Maybe not quite as wide, but certainly in the ballpark. And that is that medium nib that I enjoy. Some people don't like it. Some people like the original one. And I think that's great that you got a choice with Pen BBS of nibs because that was one of the um, <clears throat> requests that uh, many of us in the pen community have made of Chinese pens is give us some nib choices. And they have. Besides having a great choice of resins, they also have a great variety of fountain pens. Here's the 469 which has that double-ended one and it's in that same resin that this 480 is in. And again it's just uh, an interesting resin that I just enjoy. I don't think I'll get any more than two of them but I'm glad I have these two and it certainly does show how that resin lends itself to that pen and its look. Here are three of my four Amber is a Cat pens. This is the 480 that I recently got. Here's that 355, which I cherish. And here's just a 308 slash 266. I do have a 469, but unfortunately it is not with me right now. It should be back in my possession shortly, but it um, just uh, is visiting with a friend. I have two pens in Corduroyte. And again, it's a, a very nice resin. And here it is in a 323, the clipless 
pen that Pen BBS makes, which I think is ergonomically uh, a very great writer. And again, there are some variations in this resin. It's not going to be perfect, and it's one of those that, you know, lends itself to that statement, every pen is unique, so you can't see one pen in a picture and order it and expect your pen to look exactly like that. But I think whatever you get, as long as you can appreciate this resin, you'll enjoy it. So you may ask, why do I get all my Pen BBS spare kits when I get a chance? Besides all the nice O-rings and replacement parts that you get, which if you're planning on having a lot of pens and keeping them for a long time will be useful, it gives you a number of nib assemblies, feeds, collars, O-rings. So when you get a nib that you'd like to try in your pen BBS like this, interesting ground nib I got from India. Here's the auction that I got on eBay. You could just assemble a collar like this and then it's easy to to replace the nib in your pen BBS pen by just uh, unscrewing the original nib collar and replacing it with this one. Um, this pen to me just needs to be eyedroppered. Got to figure out what kind of ink I want to put in it and take advantage of that nice ground nib. This quarter right just is a another one of those amazing resins that I just find unique to Pen BBS. I'm certain there might be some pen somewhere in the world that might use something similar, but this is the one that I have and, and I just find it very intriguing and very interesting. When I got my two uh, first of italic nibs, they uh, included this ebonite feed Unfortunately, it's much too uh, big a diameter to fit into the pen BBS pens, and I don't think I'll find many pens it'll fit into, but if I do, I will use it, but it was a nice thing to include. And also nice to include was a, an excellent little note, and um, it looks like it could have been written with the nib that they've sent me. So... I appreciate that and uh, I look forward to putting nib to paper. Uh, the question of what ink to use and this ink called out to me. I haven't used it in a while. The color card shows it is definitely in the teal family. It's probably also in the dark green family with a tinge of blue in it. The chromatography is quite interesting. There's your blue there's your yellow, there's some more blue, there's some green. It's uh, definitely uh, uh, one of the more interesting chromatographies. Here's the pen eyedropper. <clears throat> it does change the look. Let's bring in the lights a little bit more intensely. It's hard for me to describe exactly what this resin represents. I think corduroy is some type of mineral. Now you can look it up. But putting that ink in there definitely shows off that resin even in a, another way. But let's put this interesting ground nib to work and let's see how it works with this teal ink. So the few of you that may not have seen my other 480 videos, the pen fits fine in the hand, unposted. It's lightweight. It posts deeply. It posts securely. It'll come off, but then that's uh, typical of pen BBS pens. I'll, I will write with it unposted because I'm over the tripod. The minute I started writing with this nib, I liked it. It does exactly what I expected it to do. It's quite smooth. Hopefully when I had the microphone next to the paper, you got to hear that. 
So that's what a cursive italic is significantly different than an italic. An italic is generally sharp and is very sensitive to angle. Where this, you can rotate the nib, as you can see, and it still continues to write. Um, accommodates us that may not keep our nib in exactly the right angle on the paper. And the cross strokes can be very, very fine. And the vertical strokes can be wide. If you put a little pressure on it, it really doesn't do much. A little bit more ink comes out. It's not a nib that I would push. And you can get some nice line variation without pressure. And that's what the cursive italic is good for. So this nib is no longer on eBay, but I'll put a link above to the website. It's still being sold on the, on the website. So that's, that's nice. So it's still available to anyone who would like to, to get one. And they're sold out of India. Hopefully there should be global shipping if you, if you buy a few more things or buy a couple more nibs. So I know I said no writing, but that's hard for me to do. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed another Pen BBS video. Now, I never show the same pen twice, and I do have a number of them, so it's easy to do a lot of videos. I mean, you can find a great nib that you enjoy. Put some ink on paper. Put your thoughts on paper, either through words or through images. Or just enjoy doodling. Reach the end of this video. We're going to say bye. Until next time. And I do like this nib and ink combo.